Okay, so I just put this little shelf together and I love it. It's so cute. Um, I think, or I'll try everything I mentioned in this video if I can to link it down below um, because I know I'm, I've been getting a lot of questions about moving stuff, but I love this shelf. It's so cute. Um, and it seems to be pretty sturdy and holding everything. So up here, I got this little air plant today and then I put my Rilke quote back there along with this plant that I got as a housewarming gift, which is beautiful. My little cactus candle. This was a gift from a subscriber. Thank you so much. Um, and my singing bowl, as well as this little polka dot plant on the bottom shelf. I'm gonna see if he does okay there. This guy likes more shady and this one's more like indirect low light. So we'll see. Um, and then this I found last night when I went to the thrift store, it's like this little cauldron and I really love it. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. Um, this rock I got up at the cottage and then this is a postcard from one of you guys that I thought was just so pretty. So that's what that's looking like for now. I might put something else in the middle shelf. I don't know yet. I was pretty much just waiting for the shelf to go up so that I could decorate with some artwork on either side. So that's what I'm gonna do now. so a little update i'll definitely give some more updates later in the video but the moving has been going pretty well i just have a few last things to finish up but speaking of moving things <laughs> i also want to thank surfshark so much for sponsoring this moving vlog i actually got a shark a stuffed shark as a, a home warming present if you have never heard of surfshark they are a vpn or virtual private network that keeps your online identity safe and a vpn can also swap or change the location of your device so for example i'm in canada but with surfshark Shark, I can go pretty much anywhere in the world I want. There has been a TV show that I've been hunting for ever since my friends and I watched it together. It is a wonderful, amazing, beautiful, heartbreaking, spectacular show-stopping K-drama called Descendants of the Sun. And since moving, not only have I moved, but all of my friends have moved away pretty much. It's been sad times, but I'm so happy to have found this K-drama that we would all watch together every single week. And hopefully we can have a little virtual watch party with it now that I found it on my device because Netflix Germany, thank you so much. Surfshark VPN also encrypts your online data and it does not monitor, track, or store what you do. So there are absolutely no connection or activity logs. If you guys would like to try out Surfshark, you can use my code EMMY to get 83% off plus three extra months for free. If you guys are interested, there's a link as usual in my description box and let's get into moving and rewatching this K-drama as I sob my heart out.
All right, so plant update. I currently have a whole bunch of plants just sitting on the floor, like I'm living in freaking Sims. So I don't know where to put them yet, but maybe we can do a little plant tour. So right here, um, I went to a greenhouse, I think I was saying a few days ago. So I just got him and he is a bonsai. He is a ginseng bonsai. So um, I've heard these are good for beginner bonsai caretakers of which I am one so this morning I've literally just been moving him around with the sunlight like every hour and I put on a timer because it says that he needs at least like five hours of direct sun so that's what I've been doing this morning and now his five hours are up and he's looking great he's so cute I just love my fridge please I just love him so much so if anyone has any tips I don't think I've ever successfully had a bonsai before um, I had one in high school but I didn't know what I was doing but anyway I have a whole plant journal now that I've been using to keep track of everyone because now I have over 20 plants um, so I need to you know keep them all healthy so that is the first guy I also got an anthurium which is really easy to take care of and then I found this like really nice coconut bowl um pot which is gonna be a hanger as well so he's currently just sitting in front of the window too i need to name all of these guys if you guys have any suggestions for any of these plants like please just comment them below or suggestions in general please tell me but um this one is so beautiful so i got the red and yeah thriving then i got another bonsai because i saw him and i just couldn't leave him um, oh my god, what did I say? I said the other one was ginseng, but this one is definitely ginseng. The other one's juniper. Ignore, ignore me. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was perfect. It looked like a mandrake, and I couldn't leave him there. So he's also sitting in front of the window as well. I believe he needs a trim. I think I read somewhere that I need to trim him, but again, if you have any tips or names, please let me know because yeah, I just feel like I'm in Madam Sprout's greenhouse now. Mandrake. Or mandragora so cool just so cool oh my gosh i love it i still have my spider plant from the old place sitting in front of um the garden because this one also does well in medium to bright light so do you need to be watered right now no you're perfectly fine oh sadly my succulent from the old place he's had a number of accidents the first one was at um the apartment i just moved out of they were drilling and they drilled so much they dug so deeply he fell off of his table and he splatted on the ground he broke a bunch of legs so um and then because of that i think the whole bottom part of the succulent died off but like i'm hoping this part comes back i don't know if i should rip them off or what but um and then the move i think was quite stressful on him too so i'm hoping i'm hoping he comes back because i'm gonna be very sad but after he fell and broke a whole bunch of limbs he has not been doing well finally i have my aloe vera um in front of the window as well so He's doing good. I don't just want to keep all of them like just randomly lined up in front of the window, like I said. So we're going to try to find some places to hang them. I do have the coconut bowl that I want to hang from the ceiling. So that'll be nice. And then I do have one more macrame plant hanger as well that I'm hoping we can do something with because all of these guys are liking the bright light. So yeah, we got to figure that out. And then I don't think I've showed you, but I also got a pineapple plant, which is just fascinating to me. I had no idea you could grow them indoors as a house plant, but um, you can. And look, we have one. <laughs> um, wow, I'm just in awe of this. Like, it seems not real to me. I've never seen a, a pineapple plant and I had never seen one until I saw it at the store. So that was just really cool. And now he's in my home. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the desk. Please ignore the mess of this room and also envision the desk when it's, you know, completed. How's it going? How's the journey been? I've had two mental breakdowns over oh, it. Oh, started making it, had a mental breakdown. Finished bon apple tea. These are what we have so far. We bended some triangle legs. We also have to put are we putting this on today or no? Yeah, we can. Okay, so this is actually gonna be taller. The desk isn't gonna be this short, you know, so. And then we're also gonna be drilling some 
um, holes for some cup holders um, as well as hopefully a like mug holder that's gonna like sit in here kind of thing and then this is this needs some help this is like the monitor stand <laughs> um, and then another cup holder is gonna go I think do I want it next to the monitor oh, no. or do I want it like here I don't oh, no, man, you're the know I just build to wait am I the architect you're the engineer yeah. And it spins all the way out in case you That's want a little. That's so cool. There's a box in There's the way. There's a box in the way, but it goes all the way out. We have a cubby that needs some help. Um, yeah, the lighting it. here is so bad. And then we need to put on this shelf. Yes. Evie. <laughs> Stop it. Roar. Evie. Yes. You cannot eat that. Teaching on how to use a sander. Why are you holding it by the vacuum? Oh. <laughs> you hold it by the hand, the hand part, and just I'm zip it off. Get the switch. Mm -hmm. The switch. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, Evie, wait, wait, wait. Hey, no, this is not, we've got a safety line. Got a safety line. <laughs> Bro, why isn't it working? Oh, geez. it's cause it's in reverse. I switched it. It's in reverse, Emma. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so progress on the apartment is going okay. It's going pretty slow. Um, honestly, I've been doing like a few things, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to relax or just try to watch a movie or something. So maybe that's what we'll do in this vlog too. We'll just have like a relaxing night instead of just trying to get everything done all at once, which is a little bit stressful, but yeah the desk is coming along okay we're definitely having a few problems with it but i'm hoping it'll be done by this week or by the end of this week because i'm really like it's just not good for myself working at the island um either sitting or standing because just you know it's an island it's not supposed to be a computer desk so i'm really excited to get the desk and finally like clean up my room because that's kind of what i'm waiting on just to put all the prints on the wall above the desk and stuff like that so yeah but let me show you some other things i try i want to get done either this week or today i was a little bit undecided if i wanted to put or put back the vines on my bookshelf but i decided to because it's nice to hide um what kind of keeps the lights on but i think i want to put one vine just across the top there and then there's no lights or vines right now on these two bookcases and i don't know if it's going to stay like that i kind of like it but We'll just see, because then they could match. As well, like I've been saying, I have all of these plants just randomly sitting here. So I was thinking of getting either like a stool or just like a little, little plant tray to go here. Maybe if it's rectangular too, that would be good because they all really love it here. So I want to keep them here, but I'd love a kind of just have them not, not randomly all piled on the ground. So yeah.
Hi guys, so it's a little bit later um, in the day now. It's almost 9.30, but I think I'm gonna take a well-deserved break and sit down and watch Descendants of the Sun. I think um, I just started episode one of season one. I think I'm just gonna start the whole show over. I'm just so excited. I don't think I even said what it was about, but essentially we follow primarily like a couple soldiers in the army as well as a couple of doctors and nurses. Eventually they all kind of get sent out to this fictional place. It doesn't exist um, to work there. It also just abounds in romance and stuff, but it's just like such a feel good, but also such a dramatic and entertaining show. And I loved it. Like my friends and I finished it when we watched it, but yeah, it's just bringing back so many happy memories and I'm really excited to just watch it, feel all the feels and yeah, like it made us all sob violently. <laughs> I'm excited to just take a break tonight and see how far of um, episode one I can get through. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Surfshark VPN. Again, I'm so happy I can watch this because Canada took it away. So the link is in my description box and I guess I'll see you guys next time on the desk building diaries. Lord help us all. Until then, I hope to see you next time with all of my fingers and toes. Ciao.